Microsoft have very quietly released a new AI image generator for Bing, and here's the headline. It's actually very good. We'll open up the world of AI to a lot of casual users. Today we're going to take a look at it in some more detail and stick around as I'll be showing you how to get some more boost credits for quicker image generation. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way. How to access it. No special permissions are needed and there isn't a waiting list. So head to bing.com and make sure you're logged into a personal Microsoft account. If you don't have one, they're free to sign up for on outlook.com. Then click on the images tab and over here on the right hand side, you'll find the image creator button. This image generator is powered by the amazing DAL E AI. If you haven't heard of this, then it's one of the original AI image generators and comes from the same company who created ChatGPT, which is currently the darling of the tech world. And if you've used DALI before, then you'll notice the interface is very, very similar. So the first question you're probably asking is, how does it work? Well, it's really simple. You click in the search box here and you describe the image you want to create in as much detail as possible. Microsoft gives some guidance, which I'll pop up on the screen now. They encourage you to use adjectives, nouns, verbs, and the style to refine the image you want. But really, you can just type anything that comes into your mind, like imagine Batman, but as a Wes Anderson film, and make it photorealistic with moody dark colors. And then all I need to do is click on create. And after a little while, I'm given four images. I can go ahead and click on any of them to access some more features, like the ability to grab a share link, save it to a collection, or just download it to my PC. I'll click on the image creator logo at the top of the screen to get us back to the home page. And we'll look at some further options. The home page shows you a gallery of images to spark your imagination. And if you hover your mouse over any of them, you'll see a description used to generate that image. This is a great way to see what's possible and the sort of language you should be using in your searches. If you'd like to see all the images you've previously created, then you can click on the creations tab. You'll see a list of all your images over here on the right hand side. I'll take us back to the home page one last time and I'll call out this number over here next to the create an image button. This is what Microsoft are calling boosts. Every user gets 24 boosts and they allow you to generate your images faster, i.e. they give you priority on Microsoft's Azure servers. And when I hover my mouse over this number, we get a prompt that warns us that when we run out of boosts, image creation may take a little longer. So how do we get more boosts? Well, if I scroll to the bottom of the page, we'll find the FAQs and we'll take a look at question number six. It doesn't call out boosts specifically, but this is where you can find more information. When I click to open this section, it says, if you run out of boosts, you have the option of using Microsoft Rewards to enjoy faster processing time. So what are Microsoft Rewards? Well, basically it's a loyalty program from Microsoft. I'll go up to the top of the page and since I'm logged into my Microsoft account, we can see my current rewards number. I have 2000-ish points, which I can use in a range of things from Microsoft. So let's head over to the dedicated rewards page to see this in a little bit more detail. Points are given out when you do various things using Microsoft products, such as just browsing using Edge browser, or using Bing search, or like me, just playing your Xbox. In your rewards hub, you can take part in daily activities like surveys and quizzes to gain more points. And once you have enough, they can be redeemed for all kinds of things like gift cards and competition entries. And now, boosts for Image Creator. So if we head back over to Image Creator and look at the FAQ once again, it says you'll be reminded once you run out of boosts, that you can use Microsoft Rewards to buy more. This means you'll get an automatic nudge when you run out of those credits. So that's it for the Image Creator Tour. It's really simple and it's really, really powerful and practically free. So go on, try it for yourself and let me know how it compares to rival tech like Midjourney.